Hey guys, how's it going? This is what we're going to be reviewing today, and we're going to get to the bottom of this. What the F is this all about? What's with the packaging? What's that made of? What the hell? Why does it damage things? What the hell, man? What the hell? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Hey everyone, how's it going? Nas here again. Look at that, we're doing... Um... Another one of them uh, unboxings and reviews. Um, honestly, I wasn't going to do this. But um, I keep getting comments about someone seeing a certain YouTuber or this YouTuber or that YouTuber. And everybody's talking about how this packaging's awful and how there's the foam thing in the back and how it scratches it and uh, how there's no window on here so everyone's touching this and that the uv rays are gonna hit it and in 50 years from now it's gonna be half brighter and half darker and all that nonsense so it's not nonsense spoilers but i really have some things to say about all of that noise that you hear on youtube and on review channels and um we're gonna open that and have a look-see on how badly um, it damages the car. So uh, yeah, let's get this show on the road, fellas! Okay, here we go guys. So, um, first things first, uh, this is Matchbox, this is Moving Parts. Uh, Matchbox has, uh, usually it's been the exact same uh, blister on card packaging um, as it was uh, for Hot Wheels. You know, just a regular, um, hold on, let me show you. So, um, yeah, like, you know, Hot Wheels right here. We have this uh, little uh, semi-blue card here. You know, just a card with a blister and uh, it's been this way for decades. Here's a new matchbox, you know, card, blister, the same thing, um, you know. So there you go. There's your uh, matchbox and stuff like that. So for some reason, matchbox has been going really strange lately. <laughs> okay, forgive me. Hey, guys, while I'm filming this, I'm like running around my uh, collection room trying to find you like... Um, examples of these things you know like these cards and stuff to show kind of the thing i wasn't prepared i i was to be honest with you i was like whatever so um but what my point is like for decades it was just you know blister on card just like this hot wheels matchbox doesn't matter same thing one faces that way one faces the other way that was kind of like the main difference that one's to the left that one's to the right whatever <sighs> So then moving parts um, started uh, doing weird redesigns. Uh, nobody knows why. I don't know why. Do you guys know why? I, I don't freaking Maybe the shadow knows? I, I don't freaking know. My point is, uh, the last one before this, for like a couple of years, it was that hourglass shape. Kind of, you know, almost like this, only the car would be in the middle. So it would be like the car there. And then it would kind of go around like that, and then it would be the same thing on the bottom. It, the card would kind of go out like that, and the car would be in the middle, if that makes sense. I was just trying to find that one. I don't have it anymore. In fact, the previous release of this uh, Lancer was in that sort of packaging. So, I don't know what that's all about. They're, like, hard to stack. They're hard to, like, display. It's, like, almost Matchbox doesn't want you know, collectors to get these, like, it's because, like, there's nothing you can do with them, they don't display nice, they're kind of awkwardly shaped, just like this, I mean, I mean, look at this, this is really strange, here's comparison to regular blister on card, what is wrong with this, what, matchbox, what's the deal, <laughs> like, this is so awkward, it's like, you know, I can't, whatever, at least now you can stack them maybe on this, at least that's something that's different, there's no, like, extra card underneath it, whatever, so, that's, that's my two cents on that, I don't know why they did that, um, next thing is, I guess they're going with the hole right here, uh, made from recycled metal, so that doesn't even talk about, um, the card itself, it says that 
the car is made of recycled metal, which is fantastic. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> that's that's great. But what's that have to do with anything? Um, all right. So what do we have here? Supporting the focus, supporting the focus of this camera. There we go. Supporting the bio economy ISCC certified. Okay, that's good. I support, um, you know, less waste. I support like recycling and all that, even though recycling doesn't really work anymore, sadly. 90% of plastic uh, stuff that we recycle, like bottles and all that, 90% of it does not get recycled, guys. Uh, sadly, uh, check out, um, there's documentaries on it. Look it up on YouTube if you don't believe me. But yeah, recycling, sadly, is something that has failed um, for the most part. There is recycling. It does work, but on a small scale. Uh, okay, so um, I do enjoy that they're trying to do this. So there you go. Uh, Plastic-free packaging. All right. What's the foam made out of? Like, what's this made of? Anyone know what that's made of? That is that cardboard? Probably not. Um, just saying, I'm not. I'm not. You know, judging anything. I. I don't really know. I just. I want to know. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> so there's a bunch of stuff that I don't know how to read because uh, it's not in English. Uh, okay, on the back here, we have some more uh, not English letters. Uh, it's a uh, must and. Bilanzansatz. That's very helpful for me. Uh, this says produced under license from Mitsubishi, so that's good. We're done with the whole uh, recycling stuff, and now we're moving on to a minimum of 51% uh, certified plastic. Uh, okay, cool. All of that means almost nothing to a uh, consumer who doesn't know about these things. So you just kind of look at this real quick and you're like, oh, cool, plastic-free stuff. Bullshit. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's let's uh, let's get this opened and take a look at uh, the benefits of this um, planet-saving packaging here, huh? Let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. Why don't we? Let's do that, shall we? Okay, 20 minutes later for me. No minutes later for you. All right, so I'm just uh, using this to not damage the um, packaging, which I will be throwing out after this, or I'll give this away to someone, or I don't know what I'm going to do with this. Maybe something might happen, and I will keep it for some reason. So here we go. This is what it looks like on the inside here. We need some light to go in front of this situation here. All right. There we go. I think that's much better. Look at that. So that's what it looks like in the box. Box is very boxy. You know, we like that. Boxy box. Cool. All right. What are we? Okay. We can push it. There you go. Look at that. Oh, there. Wow. Hey, I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to show you guys the full visual you know of this there's your window there's your window from the inside out cool okay so we have some some trash right there awesome all right so not let's hold this right there let's take a look at the back so that's how the car stays locked in there with these wheels poking through the little holes. We have a recycle symbol here, which doesn't mean anything. Uh, let's see, uh, what's that say? Paper foam. Interesting. Okay, okay. We're onto something here. Look at that. It says paper foam right there. Sorry, the shadow is being a jerk. There you go. Paper foam. If we can focus on it, we can zoom in even better. <laughs> 
their proof. It says paper foam. Now, it would probably benefit to look that up and see what paper foam is. And maybe I will. But first, let's see how this comes out. Push it by the wheels, right? Jeez, that is not easy to freaking pick out. Okay, there we go. All right, so we got that out. Let's have a look at the roof. So right away, you can tell there are scuff marks right there. Let's... Uh, Let's do that. Okay. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit. I want you guys to see the first markings with me. Don't like this. Uh, there. Okay. Where else would the markings be? Oh, that plastic is cheap looking. Okay. Okay, there you go on the hood right here. Look at that. That is uh, quite scuffy. So let me get my uh, little cloth and see if I can actually wipe that off a little bit. Now, uh, let me remind you guys, first and foremost, this car is like three bucks. Okay, so Hot Wheels are these days... Uh, this is uh, February 10-ish when I'm making this video of 2024, so second month of 2024, just for future viewers. So Hot Wheels were about $1.50, $1.25 on average, and this Moving Parts uh, Lancer is, uh, was about 3 bucks. Look at that, opening hood and everything. But we'll get to that. Let me get that cloth real quick. Okay. We got some uh, clothy cloth. Let's see. Okay, so clothy cloth definitely does not wipe it off. So it's definitely uh, a scratch or scuff um, that's been made into the clear coat by this... Uh, paper foam uh, so let's have a look see in here right quick so as you can see you can tell where the bottom bumper and the hood the mirror and the roof doesn't really show paint but I guess I didn't get through the clear coat so it actually got through the clear coat right on the front there where the hood is and the mirror and the bottom lip of the front that definitely got all the way through to the paint sadly so there you go oh yeah and the back bottom back bottom of the car as well so paper foam is um not the best thing to put collectibles into because they will get scratched by it i mean listen to this thing let's see There you go. So it's it definitely feels and looks like plasticky foam, but I guess it's I guess it's paper. There you go. That's what it looks like on the inside. Okay. So what is what is paper foam? You uh you might ask. You know what? Let's let's ask our girl from YouTube, Half Magic Beauty. Lay it on us, girl. Paper foam is a sturdy yet lightweight biodegradable material that's made from industrial potato starch and molded cellulose. What's even more special is that it's both home compostable and curbside recyclable. You might recognize paper foam from egg cartons or packaging from electronic devices, but you can see that it looks and feels completely different here. 
huge thank you to Half Magic Beauty on YouTube, who just explained to us what paper foam is. Thanks. Okay, so um, we're back. We're back. Uh, hopefully, uh, th thank you, Half Magic Beauty. Thank you so much. Um, the rest of you guys, this is, uh, yes, there's no plastic, I guess. This is made out of egg carton cardboard with some kind of spray over it. I don't know, man. That's all I know. But hey, there's no plastic here. Not in this trash. So, um, other than that, uh, there you go. So you got your scuffs there, scuffs on the roof. Uh... The front got all scuffed up on the inside of that, and the back bumper bit also. That's not a big deal. The front's not a big deal. A big deal is, of course, that roof and the hood, especially the hood right here. All right. So with that all being said, um, let's let's have a let's have a little review of what this thing is. So this is a Mitsubishi Evo um, Lancer 7. Uh, I believe that's 7. <laughs> um, the wheels are nice. The typical um, standard uh, Matchbox wheels that are very nice. Five spokes. Nice printer-like um, deco for the fog lights. The grill mesh headlights the front grille the mitsubishi logo which isn't really legible uh you got the rear tail lights however are very nice very uh clear and legible mitsubishi legible lancer right there that's really nice um like i said before or reacted to this rear spoiler is not looking great it's like not sprayed right like they wanted to spray it with plastic uh was it did it just rub off let's see no it the wing doesn't touch anything all right and guys i gotta say it's not easy to get this out of here like you really have to push on these wheels then it finally like slides out so technically, in a way, you end up scratching it <laughs> by trying to get it out. Anyway, um, and then, yeah, the this plastic, weird plastic insert uh, for the wing is really cheap looking. Like, you can tell. You guys are looking at this with your own peepers. Uh, let's see. Yeah, me rubbing my finger on it, like, almost got rid of all of the crappy shine that it had yeah so that's kind of half-assed other than that the paint's kind of cool uh i like the little gold gold metal flake that's in it i don't know if you can tell that it's gold metal flake but again this is yes moving parts but at a price point of like less than three bucks it's like two something i don't remember how much I paid, but it was like two dollars and something. So let's just round it up to three. So three dollars, you get a beautiful opening hood with detail on the engine right there. Double overhead cam. Um, you know that actually looks pretty nice. Let's see, is that? Yeah, that's plastic. So that's a part of the interior mold. But, you know, you have, like, a little bit of paint on the negative and positive bits on the uh, battery. Some silver and black there. In any case, that's not bad. For under $3, this is nice, you know. Um, even if, uh, you know, given the scuffage right there. Um, with all of that being said, guys, let me just remind you. Sorry, that was... Um, a spur from a rose that got stuck in my finger. Um, let me remind you guys that this one, this is a toy, okay? Nothing wrong with collecting these, you know, nothing at all. This is really cool. And I might just keep this in my collection just to remember this review by. If not, I'll give it to my nephew, you know, as we all like to do. Um, but in any case, um, for under three bucks, this is brilliant. This is awesome. I love it. 
uh, the scale looks nice, the mold, um, the casting itself is really nice. I love this front look. Look at that. The silhouette's really nice with the wing and everything. Sorry, Oop. dark background, it's kind of difficult to see the silhouette. But uh, they have like this weird smoky glass also. You guys can tell the smokiness of it. It's definitely not clear clear. Silver interior. Holes over there to compensate for the hinges of the opening hood. Oh look, you can see it through the windshield. So yeah, this was uh, just a very comprehensive, <laughs> detailed review of um, Matchbox moving parts. Uh, you know, it's designed for a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> it's not guaranteed for a lifetime, but it's designed for a lifetime. So that's nice. Uh, yeah. So no plastic, but now you take away the plastic and you add the uh, damage. <laughs> so yeah, like I was saying, uh, don't get too discouraged by this. Um, for the price point that it is, it's, it's okay that it gets a little scuffed. Um, I've seen cars like Hot Wheels premium cars get scuffs and damage from being inside of a, you know, a standard blister like this. So if you leave it in there too long and you move it around a lot, like if you buy things from a flea market, those guys, um, you know, they unload and load countless times, you know, throughout the week to go to different markets. So they get flipped upside down, you know, they move around like this in the car, you know, jumps, bumps, all that stuff. So they'll get scratched on the inside. They'll get scratched on the sidewall, the cardboard sidewall over there. Um, so there's really either way they they'll they'll get damaged so um try your best to i guess buy them new when they're in blister like that because they will end up getting scuffed and scraped and if you're storing these things you know you're a collector and or a hoarder <laughs> and you have a ton of these in your bins you know sometimes you leave them like this and uh, they will indent into the cardboard the cardboard will rub off on it um, there's so many issues that you run into as a collector. So, yes, this is totally fine to collect. I'm not gatekeeping here. Collect whatever you want. Uh, I know people that collect fingernails. I know people collect boogers, nose hairs. Uh, you know, collect whatever you want. I have the weirdest collections of things. I have, like, military badges, patches. Uh, I have stamps, you know, old school stamp collection. I have coin collection. I have uh, pocket watch collections. Some pocket watches I have from like 100, 200 years old. Um, oh my God, I have like documents. I have certain photos that I collect. And I have a huge Hot Wheels collection of Fast and Furious. I have a huge collector grade die cast collection. I have 118 scale collection. I have a collection of custom Hot Wheels from various... Uh, you know, uh, designer, not designers, various artists and customizers that make 164 scale customs. I have, uh, oh my God, I have close to a hundred by now. I need to do a final count of those. But yeah, I, I collect a lot of different things. You know, I don't collect main lines anymore. I used to. I have some, but not a lot. I probably have like in my collection, including my childhood 164 scale, that I've had since I was a kid. Maybe 30 total that are in my collection, not meant for like customs or anything. So when I say, I don't think this is really for a collector of die cast being under $3, I'm still saying it is a collectible, but for <laughs> you know what I'm saying, guys? I'm trying to like, not to insult anyone who collects because I'm a collector. I collect a different crap. And, um, but what I'm saying is, you know, I think that's what I'm saying. I think that the company that made this and they went with this design of all of this, this wasn't in mind for a collector. They were not thinking about the collector. Does that make sense now, guys? I'm not the one that's telling you this is not meant for a collector. I'm saying Matchbox did it intend for this to be for a collector. 
Because when you're designing stuff like this, there's a period of time where they test it, where they uh, go through test phase to see what how the packaging affects the product. And I can guarantee you they know that. They notice this. They either notice this too late and they're like, let it go, just go with it, it's fine, no one cares. Uh, because if they they probably already made the molds and they're like, dude, we it's too late to turn around now, just ship them. You know, like in the movie Elf where their one page was missing, they're like, oh no, ah, ship it. He signed off on it, next. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is not for a collector, even though it seems that way. This is for kids. They made this for kids, for it to look awesome, for a kid to start being a collector. Because this is an awesome little thing. I love this. This is cool. Pretty sure I'm going to just keep this because I do like it. See, I I'm an addict. I'm a collector. <laughs> but yeah, this, you know, if you want to, you can buff that out with a little bit of buffing compound. But you shouldn't be doing that with toys or collectibles. That's not for you to do. You know what I mean? Just because you can fix that, you shouldn't be fixing it. Just like on in NECA uh, toys. Like, a lot of their joints break, or they used to break. I don't know how it is now. I don't collect them anymore. But they used to have the worst joints. They would just snap and break all the time. And yeah, a lot of people are like, oh, you can just glue it, or you can buy some new joints. I'm like, no, F you. Why? I just bought that. I shouldn't have to invest now in more things to fix that that I just bought, which is supposed to be brand new. Are you kidding me? No, that's that's quality control, and that's a mess up on the designer's uh, side. So I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. The designer messed up, and they just decided to go ahead and ship it and uh, let it be. And I can almost guarantee you that either next year or the next design phase, this is going to be gone. Like 100%, they're done with this. So there you go. As a collector, collect these because you'll be like, oh, it was that just for one year, for that one time, one one period, you know, one quarter. They made it this way because, you know, uh, they realized that it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hopefully I made sense to you guys. This was uh, my review of the 1996 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution 7, or if I'm saying that number wrong, it's IV. <laughs> there you go awesome casting though awesome paint everything's beautiful about this casting i love it i think it's great just a little scuffed up from you know everything i just said cool all right um i'm audi 5000 i'll see you guys in the next video later <laughs> all right just wanted to uh you know see see further go more in depth as a bonus look at that it's unpainted cardboard on the inside let's have a look at more of this look at that this is paper i guess it'd be good to throw this into water see how this paper absorbs it i don't know I don't know what the uh, process of making this is, but uh, is it is it paper? Okay, bye everybody.